In today's video, I'm doing my very first anti-haul and I'm talking about all the crap that I am not gonna buy this summer and spring. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Jensine, AKA Jungle Naps. If you're new here, this is the first time you're looking at my face, go ahead and subscribe if you like beauty videos. I put out content three times a week, so you don't wanna miss that. And I also live stream, so if you wanna get notified for that, go ahead and click the notification bell so uh, you can show up the next time and we can just hang out. But uh, for today's video, I'm doing an anti-haul, and I don't know if you guys watch Kimberly Clark. I love her channel. She's really funny. I'm going to actually put her channel in the description box down below. Now the whole video idea about an anti-haul is basically that you're talking about all of the makeup products that you don't want to buy, like at all, that you are not feeling, that you want no part of, that you just want to like cancel from your life. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I have quite a few products that I want to talk about. Let me know if you guys want me to keep doing this kind of video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. That way I know that you guys like it. So let's go ahead and let's start talking about the first product. Now the first one that I'm going to talk about is the Tarte Unicorn Collection. This one right here. I just have two words for this collection and that's uh-uh, okay? No, no. First of all, the brushes just look like something that a little kid would be playing with. And I've actually swatched the eyeshadow palette and I was really disappointed with the pigmentation. The colors look like they would be really nice, but um, apparently not all of them perform quite that well. Some of them look nice, other ones just look horrible or chunky and have a lot of fallout. I'm not feeling that. Also, the liquid highlighter, they also have two uh, lip paints in the collection, and they just don't look like anything that would be, you know, really like woman of color friendly, like at all. It just, ugh, it doesn't look that great. So I'm not feeling it, I'm gonna pass. And I'm not really into unicorns. I don't have a unicorn fetish, if that's a thing. Uh, not for makeup, at least. Like, when I was a kid, I used to like My Little Pony, but you know what I mean? Not in my makeup, and yeah, just no, no, ugh. Like, this is the first actual collection from Tarte that I've just been like, nope, nope, let's, next. <laughs> next up are these little guys right here, okay. First of all, you guys, they look like really simple brushes, right? Now, they are the Wayne Goss um, Eye Brush Set, and it just launched, but wait, let me tell you the price. It's $130. <coughs> yes, you heard me right, okay? For five brushes, you're paying $130. For $130, these brushes better do my laundry, they better pay my bills, shoot, they better mop my floors, change out the cat litter. I just don't get why brushes need to be that expensive. You could go ahead and go to the drugstore and get some e.l.f. brushes and they would be just fine. Now, in the description for this product, um, Wayne Goss claims that basically these brushes are made out of goat hair and they lay down products without scratching at the delicate eye area. But honestly, that to me, that's just not worth it. It's not worth it at all. I feel like even though they're probably nice brushes, for that price, it's, it's a ripoff. I mean, unless you are a makeup artist for celebrities and you're making bank and you know, you can justify that but I just, I just can't see that. And also, looking in the description, they say that um, within the first few uses of using this brush, some shedding will occur. For $130, I'm not paying for no shedding. Nuh uh, nuh uh. So, yeah, I will definitely not be getting the Wayne Goss eye brush set. Now, don't get me wrong, I love me some Wayne Goss. I think he's an amazing makeup artist. I've learned so many things from him myself. However, I would just not be willing to justify that set. It's just way too much money. Next is this collection that is launching this summer. Now, this is from Jeffree Star Cosmetics and I mean, need I say or have to justify anything about not buying anything from Jeffree Star? 
I mean, at this point, everybody knows what's going on with him. I myself used to be a huge fan before all of that stuff went down with him and makeup Shayla and all that jazz. And without getting too like negative and pissy about the whole thing, I just don't personally want to support somebody who would treat his customers like that. And um, I'm just not down with it. And I haven't actually purchased any of his products. However, I've heard that the quality isn't the best. Now for this particular launch there will be two skin frosts eight liquid lipsticks five lip ammunitions and three lip scrubs now don't get me wrong i know there's a lot of people who really love his products but for me i just you know i try to use my coins to support brands that i really like and for me it's just not there i could care less honestly now i want to talk about max newest collection the fruity juicy collection so at first I was kind of like suckered in by, you know, the packaging because I was like, ooh, it's cute. I like flowers. It's kind of girly. But then I went to MAC because I had to repurchase my Fix Plus and the girl at the counter had all the samples. So she was like, oh, they're launching soon. Like, do you want to swatch some? And I was like, swatch? Of course. Now, I was so disappointed. First of all, the lipsticks they're launching, there is nothing unique about them. Now, the only color I'm looking at some pictures right now is the shade CC Me, and it's a beautiful berry color, but honestly, it's so dupable. Basically, I mean, you can find dupes for any of these. It's just not worth it. Now, a couple of the eyeshadow palettes look cute, but you guys, like I said before, like, there's just so many dupes. It's not even worth the $32 for an eyeshadow palette or the $17 for a lipstick. There's just nothing unique about it. So I was really disappointed because I feel like they had an opportunity to really make something great out of this collection and it's just like, Wah, wah. Now, the latest Natasha Denona palette is something that initially I was like so lusting after. But you guys, that palette is $129. Like what? I just can't even like, how do you even justify buying only one eyeshadow palette? <laughs> that better be the only eyeshadow palette that I have. You know, if I'm gonna purchase that, oh man. But basically, don't get me wrong, it's a beautiful palette. I just can't see myself using it enough to justify the money spent on it. Now, if any of you guys have purchased it, please let me know in the comments what you think of the quality. I am particularly interested to hear how the shimmers perform because that's what's holding me back. I'm just not sure. I think the last eyeshadow palette she launched, the shimmers were just really chunky and there was a lot of fallout and I'm not, not with all that, not for that price. So yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys think about that if you do have it. Forget Natasha Denona's eyeshadow palette. I do love her highlights. To me, that's something a little bit more affordable. Uh, the one that I recently purchased was 38 bucks, and I'm like, okay, I could kind of do that. But $129? Uh-uh. <laughs> no way, no how. Now, Nude Sticks just launched their Babe Boss Faves box collection, and honestly, I was looking at all the colors, and I was just like, uh, nothing here is original. Don't get me wrong, I love Nude Sticks' uh, little, like, chubby pencils. In fact, I'm even an affiliate of them, so if you guys do want to use my affiliate code, you can always check in my description box. But honestly, I was looking at this new launch and it's all colors I've seen before and I was just like, you know, it's really cool that they're collaborating with some female bloggers and vloggers for this project, but I just couldn't see myself actually wearing these, you know? I feel like Elf or Milani or any other drugstore brand can easily do any of these colors. So I was just really surprised uh, that they wouldn't just kind of take a chance and try something new but uh, you know oh well they just won't be getting any of my coins now when I heard about this product I was like ooh I can't wait like open it up girl let's see what's inside and then I was so disappointed uh, basically the Becca and Chrissy Teigen glow face palette collection would look really beautiful on someone that's fair or tan but I was just so disappointed because 
every person that's like my complexion or any woman of color that's a little bit darker, every time they've tried it, it just looks really underwhelming. And I just personally can't justify the price because yes, you get two highlighters, you get a blush, and then you also, they call it like a shimmery bronzer. But for me, honestly, it would be like an eyeshadow <laughs> because it's lighter than my skin tone. So I can use it as a bronzer, which just, uh-uh, you know? Um, and the only thing that sucks is like, they could have redeemed that bronzer by making it matte. So that way, like, I could use it as a transition color, or anybody that's my complexion or darker could use it as a transition color. However, because it's shimmery, you just can't really get away with that, you know, or as often as you would like to justify purchasing the product. So, I mean, I've heard some mixed reviews. Um, I do hear quite often that the actual product is very pigmented, but I just can't bring myself to purchase that like I'm just somebody I have a lot of highlighters so it's just like oh is it really that different you know and I also just kind of think don't get me wrong I love Chrissy Teigen and her husband I think they're great but to me this collaboration just seemed really like random I was like since when are you into you know makeup collaborations I just like because I know the only time I've ever really heard about her stuff is like she had that cooking book a while ago and she models so I was just really surprised that she did this collaboration because I don't know I just kind of felt like it was out of left field but yeah just I won't be spending my coins on that so let me know in the comments you guys I want to hear if there's anything that you're just like hell no I'm not gonna purchase this season spring or summer because maybe there are things that I need to stay away from as well <laughs> now I'm also thinking about doing a like products I'm currently lusting after series because I'm always thinking about like at least six to ten like different products in my mind because <laughs> I like scout trend mood you know so I'm always like hmm what's coming out um, and maybe that kind of might be fun and we could just like I could tell you guys what products I'm thinking about and you guys can just kind of comment and give me ideas as to if you're interested in any of those products so yeah don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you want me to keep doing videos like this and also if you're still here and you haven't subscribed do so girl you don't want to miss any of these videos that I'll be coming out with in the future or any of the live streams all right well I will see you guys in the next video Bye!